I grew up hearing about it uh, from my grandfather. Uh, he took several trips through Global um, throughout his life. Um, he's a little older now, so he can't really go anymore, but he would love to. Uh, so I grew up hearing the stories about him driving down to Belize and Honduras and um, wiring up houses and um, doing electrical work there. Um, and I thought it was really interesting. And now that I'm older, he talks more in depth about the organization itself and uh, how just he just goes on and on about how great it is, how good they are to their missionaries, and how um, he's met missionaries through, from other organizations and that globals are just the best, that they're the um, most friendliest, um, the, they always just have big smiles on their faces, and um, he's just always been very impressed with the missionaries that Global sends um, and the way that they send them. Um, he's always uh, just talked about how uh, the staff members have always um, been very helpful and made sure that he got where he needed to go and had the things that he needed to get there. The vision is just clearly um, reaching the world for Christ. Um, and even though we're here um, in Mississippi, um, just working in an office, that's still um, our vision and mission from this office, to help those that are out in the world to reach the lost. God's using Global Outreach to share the gospel in um, so many different ways through, through its missionaries that are all over the world, um, in China, in Africa, in South America. Um, they're everywhere, and they use many different um, ways to reach through uh, teaching English, through um, just full schools, through orphanages, through, um, through Votech schools. Um, there's just so many different ways um, because you have to meet the people where they are. Um, you can't just always go out in the street and just proclaim the message. You have to um, go and find them and connect with them and however it is that they need. Discipleship is very important. Um, and it is very important to not only uh, reach the lost and share the message with them, but it's also important that um, the newly, uh, the new believers um, continue to grow and continue to um, learn what it really means to live a life of Christ. Um, and so uh, that's something that the missionaries really try to focus on is uh, discipleship and making sure that they really get what they need in order to grow and become um, disciple makers themselves. People can get involved in many different ways. Um, if they go online, they'll see um, how they can just begin by praying. Um, there's, we have a list of all of our missionaries on the website and where they serve and what they do, and even links to their blogs so people can really get involved. Um, if they feel led to pray for a certain area of the world or a certain person that they may know. Um, so first of all, prayer is the biggest way uh, that people can help. And not only that, um, they can help send to the missionaries um, because Missionaries are called to go, but um, then there are also those of us who are called to send the missionaries. Um, and they can't be sent without the financial support. Um, and so people can give financially. They can give financially through our website, through calling in, through mailing in checks, through um, whatever way they see fit. Um, and then they can go. Um, I think the biggest part is to have people to actually go. Um, and you can go on short-term mission trips that go anywhere from one week to a year or two years or go full time and stay for infinite number of years. My role here is to help uh, send out the missionaries newsletters. Um, some missionaries send them out monthly, some only every three months, some once a year, um, but we try to encourage them to get them out um, as often as possible um, so that people can continue to pray and give um, and they'll know the specific needs. Um, I also help with the short-term teams that go. Um, I just help organize all of their information and make sure that um, we know who's going where, when, and we make sure that it's all in our systems, so that we can find um, the information as quickly as possible whenever we um, want to pull it up. Well, because I love, I really actually, and it sounds crazy, but I love serving the Lord. Um, and right now, this is what He has called me to do. He has called me to serve Him from this office. Um, and I love it, even though I may stand at a copier all day and just make copies or um, fax information or just enter data all day. Um, it's all for the Lord's glory. And I really feel like that's what um, He's called me to do with my life right now. I feel like it's so important for people to get involved. Um, I feel like Christianity has gotten to be so um, watered down to where 
Christians just sit in the pews. They go to church on Sundays and maybe Wednesdays if they're a good Christian. Um, but for Christians to actually get out and get involved um, in missions and in even community missions, it's just a lot more rare than it should be. Um, and so I think, I think from this office, we are able to kind of portray that's how Christians should live. Um, they shouldn't just sit in their view. They need to get out and they need to go. Um, they need to pray. They need to support and send. Um, and I feel like that's just so important um, to use whatever resources that we have to make sure that we're getting um, God's word out and his love um, because there's no other way for people to hear unless people go and people send.